Hello, this is Bern, and if men regularly say to you that you're impossible to please, on today's episode, I'm going to share with you how you can set him up so he can win. Stick with me. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life TV.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart centered, and successful women how you can create the relationship of your dreams and attract the kind of quality man that you want as a direct result of the way you show up in the world. No need for gimmicks, manipulation, or crazy techniques. Now, if men regularly tell you that you're impossible to please, that you're super high maintenance, that they can never win when they're with you, then what I'm gonna share with you right now is a process through which you can go back to a place where men actually have a chance with you because if a man doesn't feel like he can win, if a man feels like no matter what he does, he's never good enough with you, he's going to stop, move one degree to the right and find someone who actually appreciates him. So step number one is to feel your own cup first. Why do I say that? Because if you are going through life half fulfilled out of your own lack of greatness, no matter how amazing he is and how much he shows up in your life, it will never be enough. So if you get a chance to do what you want to do, create your own self-ignited source of aliveness, passion, excitement, gratitude, then what he brings to your life is something in addition to what you already have instead of a feeling of an unfillable void. Second, choose a man who is in alignment with your values and with your lifestyle. Why? Because otherwise you're going to be telling him he's doing it wrong all the time and he's not doing it wrong necessarily. He might be doing it right for someone else, but for you, he's doing it wrong. So have the compassion and the clarity if you see that the guy is not aligned with what you want to instead of making his life miserable for the next six months, tell him we're not the right fit to be together and let him go. Number three, share your needs early. Why? Because the guy is not a mind reader. And I know that uh, theoretically, uh, in a very romantic ideal, you'd love for the guy to guess what you're thinking and bring it to you before you even think it. But because that may not happen, more likely than not, it won't happen, then if you share what your needs are, if you share what your preferences are, if you share what your hunger is for, then he now stands a chance to be able to deliver it. If he doesn't know it, he's guessing. He's throwing a dart in the darkness, and more likely than not, he's not going to hit the bullseye. Number four, Assume a good intent. If you have gotten a chance to get to know a man and he messes up and he will, just like you will, instead of assuming that he's doing it to hurt you and he's premeditating his uh, next Machiavellian move, then assume a good intent and ask him the question. This didn't feel right. What did you mean by it? Or can you please clarify why you said it? Because it felt this way to me. But not come initially from a place of he wants to screw me over, just say, maybe there's a reason why he's doing it that I'm not clear on. Have a chance to clarify first. Number five, reinforce greatness. Why? Because I've connected with so many women who, through my work, are so clear and immediate about voicing the standards that are not met and the way he is doing it wrong and what he can do better but are so stingy about sharing what he's doing right. They're generous in their criticism, very stingy with their praise. You need to reverse that. You need to be able to be very generous with your praise and let him know exactly and precisely when he's doing something that you enjoy. I appreciate the way you look at me. I love the way you hold me. Thank you for thinking about the place I want to eat in, even if it's not your favorite restaurant. I really appreciate that you took me there. Thank you so much for the way you resolve that problem. Thank you for standing up to me. Like, standing up to me or standing up for me, right? Like whatever you feel thankful for, be much, much more generous in sharing it with him because if you share it with him, he understands A, he's doing it right, B, he does it more often, and then C, you get to feel the happiness of receiving it more frequently in your life. If you fail to share it and you only share what he's doing wrong, then you're reinforcing that he feels that there's no way I can win with this woman and uh, I'm not going to commit to a life of misery by connecting with someone who looks down upon me all the time. I'm not saying you can't share what's not working. Share it, but also share what is working. Last one, number six, be unambiguous about your boundaries. If there's something that you don't want or you don't like, don't kind of share it, share it. What does that mean? That means if there's something that you don't want to advance, that, that you need in order to maintain this relationship. Don't wait until it's too late and he attempts it. Like just share it. Like for example, 
you don't want to have sex before you're exclusive. Instead of waiting for him to make his move, sure, you know what, before I, anything happens, uh, it takes me longer to connect physically to someone. Why? And explain why. And that way, you're not just feeling pissed off that he wanted to go further. He didn't know that you didn't, that you needed more time. Does that make sense? So, I uh, hope this is helpful to you. Hope that through stepping into this framework, you're able to show up with more generosity of spirit and allow a guy who needs to know that he's doing it right to understand that he's doing it right. I'm not saying fake it, but show him what he needs so he can do it better. And if he's not doing it right and you don't like him, instead of subjecting him to the wrath of your pain, then let him go. <laughs> let him step into someone who might enjoy the way he shows up. If you find this is helpful, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like or thumbs up on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. And number three, on the first link under the description of this video, you're gonna find a way to go into a free masterclass that I created for you that's gonna share with you how to step into the relationship that you want with much more depth than this short video. All you do is click on the first link, enter your name and email, and you'll be immediately re redirected to this free training. Uh, if you wanna work with me, second link under the description of this video will allow you to apply to connect. Thank you so much and I hope that you have an amazing day and as always I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.